Hello again, here we will get a PDF file from a string, a HTML file and a website URL. For that we need to install wkhtml to PDF and install PDF kit. The first step is we go to wkhtml to pdf.org website and we go to downloads. For my case I will choose for Windows, the installation for Windows, Vista or later and the download is completed. I open the download folder and double click on the file. We say yes, we agree and we install. We can close this. The next step, very 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 important step is adding these two environment variables. So we search for environment variables and we open these. We go to environment variables and we go here to the path. We add it and now we need to add a new environment variable. So we go here to the folder and we go to C and program files and we have here WK HTML to PDF. We open this, we go to bin folder and we copy the path. Okay, then we go to edit environment variables, we click on new and we paste here the path. We say OK and OK again, OK again and now we can go to Visual Studio Code. In the second step we need to install PDF kit. In the terminal, PowerShell terminal, we type pip install PDF kit. We hit enter and it is successfully installed. Now we can go to the code. To start using PDF kit, we just need to import PDF kit and I will call it just PDF. To get a PDF from a string, we just need to PDF dot from underscore string. We pass the string that we want in the PDF and the final file string dot PDF in this case. To get a PDF from a HTML file, we just need to PDF dot from underscore file. We pass the file that we have, the HTML file that we have, and this is the final file, file.pdf. This index.html is a file that I have here, okay, index.html. We can close this and we can hide this. To get a PDF from a website URL, we just need to pdf.from underscore URL. We pass the URL here and the final file, in this case is website.pdf. PDF. Now two important, very important notes about getting a PDF from a file, a HTML file. If your HTML file is referencing an external resource like a CSS uh, image, you must insert the full path of the file, okay? Let me show an example here in the index.html. I have the image and the source of the image must contain a file slash 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 three slashes and then the full path of the file. For CSS is exactly the same thing. Let me close this and hide this and now the second thing is let me put here a comment for this to be explicit alert. If you apply CSS width and height to an image WK HTML to PDF will not load the image and the image will not appear in the PDF. Okay. Any other CSS rules that I applied to images worked except width and height. We cannot resize the image with CSS. WK HTML to PDF will not like it. Now let's test this. Let me open this for you to see that three files will appear here and open the terminal, type pi HTML to PDF, hit enter. One file appeared, a second file appeared and the final file, the website.pdf appeared too. Let me close this and let's see the string.pdf, view PDF. Is a PDF with just a hello string? as you can see. Let's see the file.pdf. Is this story about a superhero, the spider dog, superhero, he must fight joker cat. And let's see the website pdf. Is a wikipedia page, as you can see,
and we have here the index. Some things are not perfectly aligned, but it's our PDF. This is the end. You can download the source code, the link is in the description of this video. If you find the video helpful, please give it a like, share with your friends, and as always, thank you for watching.